on the screen now, you should see uh, my Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations product. I've gone through and configured this quite a quite a bit to basically reflect all the functional areas that I commonly uh, tackle as part of demonstrations within our organization. And in this screen that we're looking at, the very first aspect here is what we call our default dashboard within the application. The default dashboard has workspaces. Each of these little boxes that you see, such as budget planning, bank management, CFO overview, these are all workspaces that group together the information about those particular business processes into one logical grouping. So budget planning is going to have all the different types of budget aspects that we need to take a look at. Master planning, as you probably guessed already, is where we're going to run our planning engine to be able to have those planned orders generate as part of processing. These workspaces are integral to the Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations solution. Well, as you can see from here, in terms of the application integration and the experience that Microsoft is pushing forward with, we have our app bar so that we are able to then directly use any of the other applications that we have on Office 365. So you can see I have my My Apps that have been pinned into my shortcuts here, but I also have all these different apps inside of the system that we internally use, as you can see, on our Stone Ridge domain that we can then go through and then access as part of the application experience. One thing to note is that this is going to be a much more common theme inside of the Dynamics 365 products because you're looking at things such as power apps that you can create these no code or low code applications that you can then expose for your end users that even connect into Dynamics 365 for that data. Across the top here, as we go over, we have our search. Uh, the big thing to note with our search, obviously, is it has transitioned from a metadata search to more of the actual functionality type search that you need. In AX2012 R3, what you could do is you could search for a customer number and it would show you where all those references were for that customer number. Uh, it was found that that, that that type of process was not used and it actually slowed down a lot of the user experience integrations that occurred uh, as part of that. So in Inside of our new environment, obviously, when we search for customers, and if I type in all customers here, it's going to show me the page that I can access to get to that information. And it also then shows where it is in the menu structure to be able to access that. As we keep moving to the right, we can see this is a multi-company based solution. So as I drill down into my company list, we can see that I'm in USMF, which is called Contoso Manufacturing in my demo instance. But there are all these different companies and different countries as well that are integrated into this environment. As we keep moving over to the right, kind of the last aspects I wanted to highlight is obviously we have messages within our action center that's informing the user of different postings or different information that needs to be conveyed to the end user through the Action Center. We have our settings where we can define more options such as our theming, our different sizes of grids, uh, and some of the basics for our preferences and workflow, meaning different time zone setup, so therefore our, our time zone information is being represented, our different date, time, and numbering format based upon what country you're particularly in. Um, all these are just kind of default settings that you can then drive to enhance your experience within the application. And then lastly, obviously, the help and support where you can get more information from Lifecycle Services for all the help topics that you have within the product. Mm -hmm.